Hello everyone, uh, welcome to CCV Knowledge Hub. So in this session, I will explain about file handling in C Sharp with the practical examples. So let's jump into the uh, first theoretical session. After that, uh, it will follow the practical session also. The very first point is uh, your file handling, all your classes is present in system.io namespace. So under this namespace, we can uh, find all the uh, this file handling classes, uh, read, write, all these uh, classes available. And so if you uh, if you are trying to open any file or reading or writing, so first thing is it will convert as a streams. So it will convert as a stream. So if you are, you are trying to open any text file or any other files, so how it will convert? So this will convert into, so this file will convert into streams. So here if you see, assume this is uh, you are uh, uh, writing something, write in file, write some text in the file or read, read some data, some content, some text, some text. So from the file, so both these cases, what will happen here if you see, so we can observe, it will first of all, it will convert as a stream. Stream format. So what is stream here? Stream is a, it's a sequence of uh, bytes. I can say it's a byte, byte format. So it's a sequence of bytes. It will convert and it will uh, travel from the, so from the source, so source to destination or destination to source. So this is the way first thing uh, when you open any file or uh, you are trying to read something. So it will convert as a stream in the form of bytes. So there are two, uh, basically two streams are available. One is uh, input stream, one is input stream, input stream and output stream, output stream. So input stream, why we will use here, input stream is used to uh, read the data and output stream is used to uh, write the data. So he, here is the representation input stream mainly used to read the uh, read the file and uh, output is to write the file. So here mainly stream is a abstract class, stream is a abstract class. So all the methods, everything is defined in this. So it will act as a base class for the all read write classes. And the next one is uh, we have different classes available under system.io namespace. So let's see what and all uh, classes available. So first one is file stream. File stream class, why we will use this uh, file stream class. So to read and write, uh, Mainly this is used for read and write to any location within a file, right? Read and write. And the next one is a binary, binary reader, binary reader class. So why we will use this class? Uh, mainly it is used to read the primitive data type. So here, uh, primitive data types uh, as I told binary reader it will read the primary data types and binary writer class uh, it, it is used to write the primitive data types and the another classes is uh, stream reader class so stream reader it is used to read the read the characters from the uh, from a byte uh, stream and uh, st stream writer it is used to write the characters to a stream we even we have other classes also like a string reader a string writer so so let's concentrate on a string uh, stream writer class 
so what and all stream uh, writer class is having uh, first we will see after that the string reader also what and all uh, methods is having so all this information we will see if you see stream reader class is having some uh, methods like uh, close close method peak and uh, read method and read line read line method and seek method seek method the next one is stream uh, writer class also having some methods like uh, so close method and uh, flush method and write write method and write line method so these are the different methods now uh, we will see the practical example how to create a file uh, with some data so with some uh, sentence or uh, characters and how to read the uh, how to read that content in to show these examples uh, i have created one console application so file handling in c sharp my solution name is so file handling underscore in c sharp and uh, i have created one class file that is a stream writer class so stream writer class dot cs and this is the class structure so here is the class stream writer class and we have a static void main main method and uh, i am trying to write one uh, method here uh, public void write data to write data to file my method name is write data to file and here open brace and close brace so after that so i am creating so file stream so if you want to use this class so it is under which name space system dot io dot uh, file stream right i i have al already added here system dot io namespace so that's why this uh, class is coming um, after that file stream obj file stream this is a class i'm creating the object so here so in this class uh, if you see i'm passing path of the uh, file so text dot txt is my file name and path is uh, c drive and users desktop so and also you have to give some uh, permissions here inside uh, methods we have to pass that is uh, uh, file mode dot append so file mode dot append and one more is it is a enum and a file access dot write so write operation i am performing here that's why these two uh, enum and uh, uh, enums also we have to pass with the path of the uh, file so let's create so let's create the object for the stream writer stream writer class so this is also present in system dot io namespace and uh, i'm creating object for this also and this uh, uh, file stream i'm passing in this stream writer so after that uh, you can uh, take the object of the uh, stream writer and uh, write so dot write line of uh, stream we just so after that you can call the methods uh, flush method and close so close method so stream close file stream close so then uh, you can go to main method and call this uh, particular method in the main method then uh, we will see so just to create the uh, stream writer class object this is the class object and obj stream class this is my object of this class so with this object you can uh, get this method write data to file 
file method and finally you can write console dot write line of so file writing is done so just indicating that uh, operation completed or not so let's uh, run this program and uh, check the uh, output so friends here uh, i have added these two lines also string content equal to console dot read line so check the results now run the application so you can write uh, your content what you want to write in your uh, text for, uh, file So welcome to CCV Knowledge Hub. So after that, uh, it's already written. File writing is done. So message we are showing. Uh, then open that file uh, where you given the path. Then check the output. So this is what uh, we given here. So hi, this is uh, file handling in C Sharp example. So System dot IO Stream Reader. Uh, welcome to the CCV Knowledge Hub. Friends, again, uh, again, I'm entering the. Knowledge hub. So let's see what uh, what is the output now. So this is what uh, I got the information from the uh, function. So this is the write method and the same content we will read and uh, read uh, read a class we will use and uh, we will read the content. So let's jump into the program. So now friends uh, in this uh, session here we will see the read file data. So for that I have write uh, one method. I wrote one method file read file data is my method name and my class name is stream reader class. I have created one console application uh, class one more class a stream reader class and if you see this method uh, same way um, file stream object created and pass the uh, where you want to read that file so which location and you, here you have to pass uh, file mode dot open and file access is a read access we have to give after that uh, create a stream reader class object stream reader class object and pass this uh, file stream value in this so after that we are taking one console dot write line to show the content of the text file what we are reading and uh, stream reader dot base stream dot seek of zero and uh, seek prison dot begin so after that i'm taking one string empty string and uh, adding this uh, vj uh, reader dot read line and we are uh, in the while uh, loop i am checking whether the whatever I mean data is null or not if it is not null then go inside and uh, write line so you, it will print the data and after that str data equal to obj reader dot read line and after that uh, just you are skipping the read line and uh, just you are closing uh, whatever file uh, stream uh, reader and uh, same way uh, file stream at last we are closing in the main method we are calling this uh, method so how to call this uh, method uh, read uh, file data first you have to create the object for the class uh, by using this object i can get this method read file data method and console dot read line to see the result so then i will run the application and we will see the result if you remember uh, the first example uh, write method i wrote ccv knowledge hub in that file so same file it is reading from here so this is the uh, 
reading part of your uh, program so friends this is the way uh, we will handle uh, file in c sharp dot read write so basic operations uh, using all this present in system dot io namespace so friends uh, please subscribe ccv knowledge hub youtube channel for more videos so thank you so much